What's going on guys? So in this video we're taking a look at what could possibly be the best cheap alternative to this expensive beauty right here. Dior Sauvage Elixir. So this is magnificent. Kind of a game changer when it came out. Nuclear beast. Warm, spicy, woody, aromatic. But I gotta say Latafa Assad has a little bit of a twist to that same scent profile. Doesn't lose the performance and cost 24 bucks at the recording of this video. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. So before we jump into this, I do want to take a moment to thank perfumeonline.ca, Canada's number one discount site, for sending this my way so I was able to get my hands on it and review it. I absolutely love the fragrance, which we'll get into in a moment. For those of you not familiar with Perfume Online, they offer a wide range of fragrances from cheap stuff, designers, Middle Eastern fragrances like this that are more affordable, niche, you name it, they probably have it, and fantastic prices. Make sure to check them out in the link below. So we'll take a quick look at the box. It's nothing super special and spectacular, says the name of the fragrance with this, this special logo. It's an Eau de Parfum, 100 milliliter. Latafa logo on the top. You have some info on the bottom of the barcode. That same logo wraps around the side. There's a hologram. Nothing special with the box. Then in regards to this bottle, so highly reflective metallics on this one. That's why it's kind of hard for it to focus you have the Latafa logo on the top. It's a plastic piece that's kind of this gold, almost rose gold looking metallic. Goes all the way around with that logo that was on the box. Information on the sticker on the bottom. Just a strange shape to the cap. Does click pretty well into place and it has a really good atomizer. It does its job. Let's talk about the scent. So I have the notes on screen for you guys. When you first spray this one, it's undeniably walking the path of Dior Sauvage Elixir. But the difference here is there some fruity freshness at the top. This pineapple note. It doesn't distinctively smell like juicy fruit pineapple, but there is kind of this fresh fruity smell that adds a little bit of a twist to a scent profile that was extremely dry, woody, and spicy. It was still aromatic, but this one, the note breakdown is a little different. There's tobacco, there's coffee, there's iris. I don't distinctively get a bunch of those things. I get an ambery feel. I get that dry wood feel with a bunch of spice. There's black pepper. I, I don't remember any other spice, but it, there's a little bit of an earthy dry tone. So that could be the tobacco note that's in here. It doesn't, like I said, distinctively give this abundant tobacco aroma. It's more dry, earthy, spicy, and woody with this twist of fresh fruitiness at the top. It's literally that simple. It does not change a lot. That fruity freshness does die down over time, but it hangs out for a good hour to two hours. Pretty much in the early projection stage is when I smell that freshness and as it starts to dry, it get, dry down, it gets much drier, woodier, spicy and earthy, a little musky, but not all that musky, honestly. It's more ambery and woody than it is musky in its dry down. It literally settles into being that simple. It's not a very complex and deep fragrance, though the note breakdown will lead you to believe there might be a lot of depth here. It's actually kind of linear for the most part, but it doesn't smell like a $24 fragrance. It doesn't smell like the quality dropped off greatly from its $155 US for a 60 ml counterpart. Now, I do have several other clones of Sauvage Elixir from small clone houses, from larger clone houses, and while they are really, really good at being direct copies, this puts that nice little twist at the top that I just find so desirable and enjoyable that I think this has become my favorite version of the DNA, even over the actual original Sauvage Elixir. I just, that little twist they put on it just really does it for me. This is the one that speaks to me the most of the scent profile, and it's more inspired by than direct clone of, in my opinion, of course. Now, as far as performance on this one, you can expect great, great longevity. I've been getting 10 to 12 hours on my skin. It's a straight up beast on my skin. It's what you would expect from something cloning the DNA of Sauvage Elixir, because that's a nuclear beast in itself. I don't use more than five sprays of this, and that's to make a statement at five sprays on my skin. Projection is definitely on the heavy side in the first two hours. And then the sillage settles into a nice moderate sillage where you're, you will get some decent strength whiffs throughout the entirety of the life of the fragrance on your skin. At least that's been my experience. So I would call this pretty much a beast 
across the board. This stuff is pretty beastly. If you're the heavy spray type, you're gonna fill a room, you're gonna choke people out, you're probably gonna overwhelm yourself. But hey, if that's your bag and that's what you like to do, you go for it. Me, I'm definitely more on the moderate side, and this is the lower end of my moderate spray routine that I go with. I think five sprays is way more than enough of this fragrance for me personally. So if you're looking for what I deem to be probably the best alternative for the money for Sauvage Elixir from performance and scent, you want to check out Assad. Final thoughts on this one, like I let off with in the last, finished with in the last segment, I'm gonna lead off with this. If you're looking for the best affordable option for this scent profile, I think Assad is that. I think this is actually out freaking standing. I think it's a nine out of 10 fragrance. I'm even surprised with that rating because I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do because I think of fragrances like Alexandria's Et Sauvage Elixir, which I dub to be the closest, most accurate clone, which I still think it's the most accurate to the original. 4.0 Elixir from Making Sense, just absolutely phenomenal. Essential Obsessions has a fantastic clone of it as well, but this one puts the right twist to add something that I didn't even know I was missing from the Sauvage Elixir DNA. This little fruity, fresh twist at the top, and it's a little bit more on the earthy side than just dry, woody, and spicy. Like, the scent character in this, I actually prefer to the original. So for me, it's a nine out of 10. Once again, thank you so much to PerfumeOnline.ca for sending this my way so I was able to spend some time with this one. I love this. This is gonna be what I reach for over the original. I like this more than the original. I just do. I'll have a link down below so you can get your bottle the same place I did, 24 bucks. It is really hard to beat. It's, as, it's the cheapest alternative I've seen, especially for 100 ml that doesn't smell like a $24 fragrance. Performance is fantastic. And like I said multiple times in this video, that fruity fresh twist at the top just does it for me. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have this or have tried it? What do you think about it? Do you like it as much as I do? I absolutely love this fragrance. I think it is done so so well. And until next time, I will say if you get, you, get your hands on a sod and you give it a spray now, I'm really confident you'll thank me later because I think it's absolutely fantastic. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.